Hello. Hello. I'll play more Star Sector. Because I have a problem. Oh. Speaking of such, what do we got going on over here? They are bullying the pirate station. <laughs> Reuters and salvagers bullying the pirates. That is uh, pretty funny. Pretty funny. Now, we have stocked up on some fuel and supplies and everything. And we're going to go head out and get us a bounty. The one I was looking at. Cleopatra Demos here. I believe she's going to be here at Delta Goodall. Let's go ahead and head straight out. Get us some bounties. Get us some more experience on these boats. It's not the greatest money, but hey, that's uh, that's A-OK. -okay. We're not doing this for the money. We're doing it for the experience. When we want money, we do space trucking. I'm taking a little slower this time just because uh, I'm, I'm traumatized from getting bullied so much by Pathers and the freaking Legio every time I leave the core worlds. I don't want to have to waste more story points. Alright. Who are you? Okay, just scavers. Just scavers, we're good. And we took a little bit of damage there. Oh. Hedge took tennis. A lot of worlds have been changing hands lately. The core worlds is in chaos. Plenty of opportunity for us to make some money. Oh, spindles invading tennis now? Tennis, tennis. However you say it. Alright. Let's see if this is where our bounty is. Oh, there is a domain defense system here, so let's go ahead and go dark. Going dark did nothing. <laughs> uh, we can dodge this. It looks like we're getting out, out of the sight of it now, too. So, that's excellent. We do have a desert world here. Industrial ruins, moderate or scattered ruins. Well, we ain't gonna colonize it, but we'll definitely explore the ruins. Okay, some weapon blueprints. I'll take it. And I believe that was a level up. That was a level up indeed, level 10. We definitely want gunnery implants and I'm gonna go ahead and elite that but we're still looking for our bounty bounty should be here I think that's probably the, our bounty that we're looking for it is oh you ain't getting away from me you ain't getting away from me, no. We're playing everybody not because we need to, but because... But because we want all of our ships to get experience from the combat. We're gonna go ahead and use our Abyss Dash to get up there real quick. Put all these big guns to work. I want my 
sorry. We're going to turn that down just a little bit. Uh, it's still a little loud. Give me one second, sorry. Let's see how this is now. A little better. Battles are still going to be a little loud, but... Oh, they booked ass out of there. They left their buddy behind, buddies behind. They said, hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell, hell no. But that was enough for the bounty, and that's all I was here for. That's what I cared about. Getting the bounty. Getting some more experience on our ships. Let's, uh... Quick cheeky survey and explored the Ruans. Star Federation utility blue. Hey. I ain't gonna say no. I ain't gonna say no. Now let's get the hell out of here. Or will we? Oh, that's the artillery station. No thank you, I don't want to take that on right now. Let's book it for the jump point. And we are out of here. Who are you? All right. Now let's do a little more exploration just while we're out here. Since we're here. All right, let's see if uh, we're gonna have imminent danger here. No imminent danger, it says, so let's check it out. Another desert world here. a decent amount of redacteds. Well, you know, don't mind if I just slip in and get that supply cache, maybe, you know? Even if it's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Even if it's a whole lot of nothing. Well, let's get some surveys in at the very least. Alright, some more ruins to explore. Alright, some more blueprints. We will take it. I ain't gonna say no. Alright, we got some active redacteds here. But what do we have here? Research station? Research station? No, it's a freaking dram. Not even worth it. Stormbringer class battle cruiser? Ex excusez moi, s'il vous plaît? Excusez moi, s'il vous plaît? Yeah, we're. We're taking it. We're taking it. I'm not gonna jump into it immediately, but we're gonna take it. We'll take it, we'll stash it. Storm Seeker class destroyer. Dang, Redacted's trying to bully us. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get this this ship I stole out of here. This derelict ship that I stole. Leave me alone. Alright. Let's cut our little expedition short here to head back towards Core World Space.
And we're gonna drop that battle cruiser off at uh, the Estuapolis. I it said Raider Nomads for a second. I was like, oh, and it's Reuter. Little, little panic moment, but not too much. Alright, so let's go ahead and set course back for Mayasura. And I'm, we're just gonna be real ready to dodge out of the way of anything we need to. We'll take a little bump from the storm. Once I get the whole, once I get the um, dang old solar shielding whole mod, you bet your sweet tookus I'm gonna be putting it on every ship I've got. Even, oh excuse me, even post nerf. Um. That whole mod is great. Alright, so let's drop this bad boy off so we can get our combat readiness back and everything. Transfer sheeps. Yes, we are going to store that Stormbringer along with that Legion, that 14th Battle Group Legion that we got. Man, we restore these two up. Along with our uh, Abyss Walker. That, that's gonna be. That thing is gonna be silly. Alright. Forgot we actually managed to build in some stuff on this guy. Let's see if there's anything else we can put on it that's gonna be worth our while for a big old cargo boat. I mean, not really, <laughs> but not really. Yeah, so we can just kind of, yep, there we go. But the stiletto now has, now has, uh, Couple ordnance points free. Armored weapon mounts would be all right, but ex expanded magazines is gonna be way more important for that little gun frigate. Make sure to repair up. Sell some of that stuff. The rest we're gonna hold on to. Why am I holding some of this stuff? I don't need to be holding that stuff. We can just sell it. It's not much, but I care about my storage. Being nice, look at how many weapons and colony items we've managed to get our hands on already. We are doing well for ourselves out here. And if I remember correctly, I, yes, I saw a not too bad of a bounty out here. So, Benson Disc. So, just gotta be out here and stawn. Alright. Well, let's get the hell out there and smack us another bounty. I don't really care too much about relations with the Luddick Church. But, but, more bounties is more experience is more, uh, more S mods we get to build into our ships. Just a short hop. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ball it out over there. Oop. All right. 
right, let's start checking this place out. Find our bounty, find our boy. There you are. Hello. Oh, you want to run. Well, that's unfortunate for you. That beam lance is just ridiculous. I love it. it takes a while to re to recharge its uh, its charges, but. That is a-okay. Okay, apparently that's not everybody, so. Oh. I think we might be able to catch him. Come on, let me catch you. No, they got out of there. They got out of there. What a shame. What a shame. Rotten way to die. Alright. These ones are going to be too hefty. But I did see a bunch of exploration missions pop up. But these are quite far out there. Eh. We got plenty of supplies. We got plenty of fuel. So let's head out to the Zenito system. Where is that? Yeah, Zenito. Nito Zenito. Let's try not to perish. Speaking of trying not to perish, let's take a safe. <laughs> Get out there, do some analyzing of uh, domain era probe. Now we're gonna have to. There we go. We're gonna go around the slipstream. Nope, 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 nope. Ha, get caught in the slipstream, dork. Caught him on the corner of the slipstream. Pathers. Disgusting. What? How did they just zip around like that? That is... Bullshit. Alright, well, you know what? We'll spend a story point to not have to pay these bastards off. That was ridiculous. Path or plot armor. Path or plot armor. Alright. Now we're gonna go a little... Go a little slower now, or I could go on sustained burn while we go through the storm. Because apparently that is guaranteed to catapult me into some pathers. got a straight shot here so let's let's try and take it while we can here while the storms are a little lighter and we're 
we're going around this one too. Pirates. That's Mercs. If they were pirates, I was going to uh, make them perish. But alas. Alright. I think we can sustain burn the rest of the way there. We ignore distress signals. Uh, this is not a humanitarian mission. Ah, oh, Shiza. I mean, honestly, we could take this on with just... With just the one ship, probably, but... Once again, we're trying to get experience on all of our ships, so... And they all get participation trophies for just coming into the battle. What a shame. Apparently this wasn't the probe we were looking for. Stop it. Stop it, don't bully me. Is this the probe we're looking for? Apparently not. <laughs> this is the probe we're looking for. I'll get the hell out of this hell hole. That was an easy 80k. Yeah. Let's start planning our return trip here. But might as well do some useful things on our way back. Take it easy now. It's not a race. We're not on a time limit now. Our only limit is our fuel and supplies. Now, I'm guessing that's uh some bad guys. Oh, I could absolutely annihilate these these guys. Oh, but they're scavers. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ruin my fun, why don't you? I mean, it doesn't look like we're gonna have anything just co totally crazy while we're here, but that's fine. Means we can get a few surveys done in peace. Mostly. Ultra rich and abundant there. That's not bad. That's not bad. A boat to salvage. An orbital habitat. Huh. 
weapons cache. Oh, free marines. All right. A few weapons and wings, but these blueprints are the real prize. And yes, of course, we're learning them all. Imagine selling blueprints. Imagine selling your blueprints. I mean, if anything, if you've got duplicate blueprints and you're running next rel and you should just turn them in at Prism Freeport and you can exchange, exchange them for points that you can use to buy other blueprints. Oh, that one's, that one's pirate. All right, well, let's go help out the scavers. Join the battle, take command of the action. I'm not gonna throw everything in there this time. I'm just gonna come in with the flagship. I can't afford to just dump a hun another hundred supplies for, for a few points of XP. I mean, it's most important for us to get the flagship improved, but, you know, I want to improve other ships as well, of course, but, yeah, list of priorities here. Order of priorities. Oh yeah, you jumped the wrong way, mister. You skimmed the wrong way. I'm catching up to this guy, but is he gonna get away? Probably, as I had already used most of my charges of the Abyss Stash, and it does take a little bit to. Yep, that's that's a wrap on that fight. Let's go ahead and. Quick cheeky surveys here. Baron Bombarded World. You see, these are always a roll of the dice. And this one, we rolled a, we rolled a solid one. <laughs> we rolled a solid one on that one. Hey, Athulf got taken by the hedge from the Persian League. All right, that's those scavers we helped out. Against the piratas. So, gotta continue on there, and I think we'll catch a slipstream down here. That should dump us out a little closer to Core Worlds. Let's see what we got here. In Epsilon Kira. Cryovolcanic, barren, volcanic, and volcanic. Plentiful volatiles here. That is not bad. What about this barren world? Probably doo doo fart. Yep, big time doo doo fart. How about this volcanic world, huh? Keeping careful watch on how much how much supplies we've got left. At. Arsenal station and a derelict pet center. Lots of stuff for us to sell. That's for sure. about this arsenal station oh 
okay, okay. Some weapons blueprints. I, I, I thought that was a soldier shielding blueprint for a second. I was about to jump with joy. However, I should be jumping with joy for these heavy armaments and all this other stuff that we we're going to make a killing on. Let's see. Missile prefabricator. Replaces missile autoloader with prefabricated ammo stores. Okay, so that's different. Alright, well that's one blueprint we already have that we will be turning in at uh, Prism Freeport. So we can start building up points to exchange for different blueprints. And we got one more planet. Ah, damn it. Frickin' ring. Damage in my ships. That's, bit, that's making me bleed supplies. Alright, so we'll finish up surveying this system. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here. We're gonna head back, because we're, we're starting to run a little low. Not by any means dangerous low. That's really good ore here. If I end up colonizing anywhere near this section of space, I'll have to keep this in mind for uh, resources, but this is pretty far out. Yeah, let's take, take our exit here. We'll try and hit that slipstream and maybe catch a little quicker uh, jaunt down to the core worlds before we run even lower on supplies because to me <laughs> to me at least under 500 is when for a fleet that's starting to get a little larger is where I start getting a little noivous Nice and easy. And we got another one right here. We got this freaking interstellar highway right here. We just go around these systems and... That one's gonna dump us out right over here by Utic. So, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Just bump that guy out of the slipstream. Screw you, guy. Wait, no, we're still out here. Well, if we hop this one and then hop that one, we'll basically be back. We're just gonna be real careful. Zoom. Do you have a yellow star here? Have I explored this? I have not. Ah, uh, interdict. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's uh, gonna, that's gonna be a story point, boys. We're getting bullied again. We're getting bullied. <laughs> All these dang pirates. You'd think with how good of burn level I have, it wouldn't be so easy to catch me. But alas, apparently it is. All right, let's let's drop by Pangersick and pick up some supplies. Oof. Yeah, we are really gonna need that uh, solar shielding one of these days. All right, let's go ahead and 
head on into their home world and do a little shopping. And sell some of the stuff that we uh, picked up along the way. Oh, you guys will just straight up buy my uh, drugs and organs. Hell yeah. I'm not selling these, I'm holding on to them. <laughs> Sell these pets. All these materials and stuff we picked up. Easy 140k there. Excellent. I'm gonna hold on to all these weapons because we will probably put a lot of them on ships at some point. Excuse me. Hiccups. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, you got anything cool for ships, buddy? Other than that massive tank. Nah, not really. Alright. That's all good. What about a trucking contract? Get us some quick money. There we go. We got enough space for this one. And it's good money for a very short jump. So let's do it. Yeah, it's basically next system over. And that's because we are transporting trans plutonics and a lot of them. This is important cargo, very valuable cargo. All right. Let's drop that off at Adorn Viewport here. I don't know why they need that many transplutonics here, but I'm not asking questions. Well, supplies are decently cheap here, so let's... Let's grab... Just enough to get us back up to a thousand. And... Anything cool here? I mean, I thought about picking up another freighter. I mean, this would kind of be best of both worlds. With the right hull mods, this thing would have, um, you know, lots of, would help us salvage. It'll have add more, a lot more fuel capacity for us and a lot more cargo capacity. Let's go ahead and buy this geoid. And how much is it going to cost for us? to restore you. We'll take it. I mean, it that hurts, but... That hurts, but we'll take it. And... Doesn't have enough uh, points to take at expanded cargo holds yet. That's fine. We will put that on there later. Kind of rearrange things here. Now we can carry even more cargo. We are still primarily space truckers. And yeah, now with this much space, we can take some of these goofy large contracts, all right? I mean, we would we would need mo even more space to take this one, unfortunately. That would be the best one, but we haven't been to Spindle yet. So, you know what? Let's take this contract to go down to Spindle. That'll give us our first little taste of building relations with uh Scalar Tech or Spindle. Um, 
Plus, they got some really nasty ships and weapons. I've already grabbed a few of their weapons that I've found in random markets. But their carriers get real goofy. I'd definitely like to get my hands on one. Yeah, at this point, I mean, we're going to keep improving the Abyss Walk, the ISS Artorius, our Abyss Walker class flagship. But the rest of our ships are all destroyers and, and some pretty light frigates. So I would like to, at some point in the near near ish future, maybe get a, at least a cruiser or two to uh, kind of hold the line a little better. Alright. Talk to our concierge, get paid. I still got a whole bunch of crap we're <laughs> holding that's also uh, taking up space in our cargo holding. Yeah, we'll buy Operation Center, why not? It's not the it's not the whole mod I'm looking for, but it's the whole mod I got. Let's see if they're selling anything goofy here. I mean we don't have relations with them yet, so we're not gonna buy any of the crazy be able to buy any of the crazy stuff. Yeah. Unfortunate. But Let's see. What we, what they want us to transport here. All right, hey, this will take us straight back to Mayasura. Where we need to drop stuff off anyways. It's actually taking us to the state to the planet that's right by our little abandoned station that we're based out of, so excellent. Good to plan that better if I wanted to. So let's get that delivered. We are running a little low on fuel. So we're gonna have to pick up some fuel once we get there that's fine that's there's plenty of places to buy fuel over by uh well in and around Mayasura for a decent price and we got the money now these big large size contracts you got to build up to them of course you can't just immediately just slam a as much cargo space as you can into your fleet and then take them. You gotta build up reputation with the space trucking company. But, once you can, once you've done enough of them, you can make a lot of money real quick. If you got the speed and the nerves of steel necessary to be a space trucker in this day and age we are going to hold on to this because we are going to we're going to take the blueprint over to prison freeport but first they usually don't have much for fuel and supplies here, and it's usually fairly expensive, but it's whatever. Because we're just going to head straight to Prism Freeport. Go to the blueprint exchange there and give up that one blueprint. It's a small one. It's a little weapons blueprint for a common weapon, so it's not going to... It's not going to be much. But over time, as we're doing more and more exploring of the uh, the unexplored or lost 
areas of space here. We're going to acquire a lot of blueprints. We'll probably acquire quite a few duplicates, which we can then take to the station commander here. Yeah, this one only gives me 30 points, but some of them will give you thousands of points, and then you can get lots of different stuff once you've built up the points for it. But we are at Prism Freeport. So, let's see what they got. I do like these light revolver cannons. And these particle calibers. But this is where the real stuff is found. The high end seller. It's expensive. But you can get some real Gucci weapons and ships here. Auto pulse beams. Hmm. Yo, these things are slick. I will pay the money for those. Uh, big, more big mortars? Yes, please. Anti shield cannons. More of these Kitsune flak batteries. Morgan tactical lances are all very good. What's the difference between these? Range 500, damage 125, range 60. So they are different. Alright. Well, let's check their ships while we're here as well. High-end seller. This is where we. This is where we get the Gucci stuff. This is where I got the dang old uh, Abyss Walker. I could get an Odyssey. They had this. I. Uh, it must have been the same one. They had an Odyssey here when I bought the uh, Abyss Walker. I considered buying the buying the Odyssey instead because this thing is like out of the vanilla ships. This is probably one of my favorites, probably top three of my favorites to use as a flagship because it's so versatile and can be very, very good. But that is, would once again be all of our damn money. Now for about half that, we could get this carrier. And I'm kind of tempted. We don't... I mean, we, we carry two fighter wings in our current ship. But having a carrier to back us up would be pretty nice. But I'm just not sure how often I would honestly... I've been in big enough fights to deploy a, a you know, large carrier lately. And, of course, ED shipyards. Erectile dysfunction shipyards. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold off on the carrier, honestly. But if uh, next time I come back, if they've still got that Odyssey, I might just buy it. I might just buy it. I just don't like the going that low on money. Alright, let's take a quick trip to Mayasura to drop all those weapons off. Oh, Legio took another planet. They took one from Ludic Church this time. That is, uh, not very cash money. Yeah, let's just clean these guys out on fuel. Grab a little bit of supplies here, since they're just kind of average price. Jump over here to the Estwapolis. The 
abandoned a Stwopolis. Put all these weapons away. And honestly, I think we should probably pick up one or two more cargo contracts. Get us in the money enough to, uh... Let's see if, if from Port C here, if there's a cargo contract taking us south. Because we do want to, at some point, start the main story. <laughs> the quote-unquote main story. Hmm. This one's going to be best for distance versus money. So let's go ahead and head to Imperium Space and drop them off some transplatonic ores. There's a dog pile going on there. Don't mind us, just some space truckers. Don't mind us, just your friendly neighborhood space truckers. I always check these guys' the ship markets. They got, they got some pretty wacky larger ships, but alas. Uh, let's see if there's a contract here going. We're going anywhere we want to go. This is taking us decently close. Made it overshoot it a little bit, but. Not by a lot. Let's do it. See, we're not just taking the ones for, for the most money. We're taking ones that take us where we want to go anyways. So we're double dipping. Or at least close to where we, we want to go, you know. Core worlds have been real active lately. Everybody's. I would say there's even more war going on than normal for the core worlds. Which hey, that's uh, that means plenty of profit to be made. All right, it means goods are more expensive, which means hauling goods is more expensive, which means I get paid more. You look deformed. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, nothing stand out here. Supplies are pretty cheap here. We should probably stock up. About fuel. Eh, it's not too bad. I'll grab a little bit. Not go crazy with it. Now, we want to head to Galatia. We made enough money off a of trucking to cover our supplies, our, our re-up on supplies and everything, as well as acquiring more weapons and everything. I'll probably be looking at our fits and everything on all of our ships between re between recordings when I can sit there and kind of overanalyze things as one does all right I'm gonna take a quick pause it will be just a second for y'all though all right I have returned so not only does the Academy have 
you know, the main story here. <laughs> but if you go to the research, if you get the right items for some of these projects, you can get colony items in return, you can get um, blueprints in return, you can get all sorts of crazy stuff. So we're going to request a meeting with the provo provost, provost Baird will see us, we'll follow him in, we're, if y'all want to read all that, be my guest, I'm not going to blow my voice out today. All right, we're making meeting with the provost. She says she just moved in. Well, considering the previous provost, uh, that doesn't surprise me. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm we're gonna we're gonna play it cool. We're not gonna say anything. Yeah, I'm interested. All right, now we can do jobs for. Alvis. Yeah, nice to meet you, S Sebastian. If y'all want to read that, go ahead. We're going to inquire about jobs. How about the VIP transport? To Jangala. Yeah, let's take it. Now, once we do enough of these uh, doo-doo jobs for the Galatia Academy, we will advance the actual story missions. Oh, hello. How convenient. How convenient. I need I was just thinking I needed to farm some more XP. Oh. Get out of my way. <laughs> out of my damn way. Two charges on the on the dash, so let's use them. Get in there and bully these boys. It was very foolish of you to uh, drop your shields. I mean, you would have gotten overloaded and killed anyways, but you just let me kill you quicker, essentially. See if we can catch these last couple ships. Oh, there. They're getting out of there. Oh. Yeah, we're only catching up to them with the dash, and they're just about to hit the edge of the map here. One more. One more, Arthur. No. Not quite quick enough to catch the last couple ones, but... We'll take their ill-gotten gains for ourselves. And then we'll uh, deliver our VIP cargo. Hopefully a little shaken, not stirred from the experience of being in a fleet that's fi actively fighting. <laughs> Hopefully only a little shaken and not stirred. All right, let's deliver them to Jangala. Traveling with you was the most terrifying experience of my life, and I hope to never return to space again. But I suppose I'll have to. If I do, I hope you're the captain on my next trip. Well, I, I guess that's about as good of a review as you can get. Honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to sell all this crap while we're here. Yeah, we're 
ju we'll just get a few buckaroonies from that, but that's no big. Oof, they're in a deficit of all sorts of stuff over here. If one wanted to take advantage of that, he could. You got any work for me, buddy? Uh, what about the surplus domestic goods? Yeah, I'll pass. What about our, our space truckers, huh? What about our space truckers? And they don't have really expensive goods here. So really nothing we could make a lot of money off of that we can actually transport. What about a Sharu? I mean, I doubt it, but... I doubt it. But it's worth a look-see while we're here. Yeah, just food. Well, let's go ahead and... head out of this system at the very least what we got going on right here no ghost ghost there's an unexplored orange star right here well we better explore it then for science Gas giant and a barren world, and that's it, huh? And there's pirates here, judging by the uh, makeshift sensor array. We can go ahead and take that over just to be a dick. We're being a dick to pirates, so what does it matter? <laughs> Yeah, just a class one. One stable location in here. This is the doo-doo system. Doo-doo system. Moving on. Moving on from doo-doo land. Alright, let's head up to... Cinderian town here. See if we can get us a another Gucci cargo contract. Cause I need me some more fancy ships. I've got an addiction. The fancy ships. What you want you need lobsters delivered or anything? Yeah, I mean, most of these are not that great. And the large ones will make a lot of money. I don't have enough cargo space for yet. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hard pass that. Let's check Cindria while we're here. They do sometimes have the Gucci ships on the market. It's rare, but sometimes. Seems to be a dog pile going on here. Who's getting dog piled? Oop, I did not mean to do that. We, we catch them when there's basically nobody left. 
I was trying to hop in there when uh, when they were actually fighting them, so I could get some get a little Sindrian relation out of that. But hey, take what I can get. The other one seemed to have uh, blown itself up in solidarity with its friend. Oh, hey, they actually got system bounty for that. I didn't even know that there was a system bounty here. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything good here that we just can't live without? 78 per unit. Not bad for supplies. And of course, it's Cindria. Gas is always cheap here. So we're gonna grab plenty of gas. Gas. Fueling up at fueling up at Honest Phil's gas emporium here. Make an even 4k gas we're holding on to here. And let's look at what they got for boats. Pacemaker. Oof. I mean, there is definitely some decent stuff here. If I wanted to restore it, this would be pretty cool. How fast is it? Oh, this is pretty fast, too. Yep. You know what? We're going to restore this bad boy. <laughs> the great dictator. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, lordy. Throw some basic fighters on that, but otherwise we're gonna just stick like a tune drive field, dedicated targeting targeting core, efficiency overhaul, flux distributor, heavy armor, and let's go stabilize shields. I think that's a good start. We'll do advanced radar systems and accelerated as well. Accelerated shields as well. Take plenty of vents on it. And we might take some of that stuff off once we slap a bunch of weapons on it, of course. But for now, that's just a. That's just so I don't see the big angry yellow letters that say that I've got spare OP on that thing. Uh-oh, Cabal. You hear space techno, you run away. Now is not the time to dance. Alright. This is like if you're anywhere near my neck of the woods, you start hearing caramel dancing in the middle of the night, you run. You run. You're out in my neck of the woods, you hear caramel dancing in, in the distance, or a court or badly played accordion music, you get the heck out of there. No good could come of it. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we can fit this bad boy out. So, I'm gonna strip all these caps and vents off for now. Let's see here. Let's do the big medium turrets first. Hmm. These things are so good, but they... They put out so much flux, it's ridiculous. Oh, 
know what? Stick uh, the Fury Fury rail launchers on the front, and then we'll stick Kitsune Flak batteries on the back. We don't need accelerated shields. We got actually got another medium slot back here. Cause this thing could just turn and broadside people. I'm gonna want to have enough points to put uh put some dang old uh, point defense on here. So let's go to some less. Less uh, OP dependent fighters. All right. What can we take off? Heavy armor. You're gonna need some point defense, buddy. Let's go with. <laughs> do I want to? Let's do Vulcan cannons. They're a they're a decent balance between uh being good point defense and being cheap for uh, OP. All right, now let's move that up to the second position in the fleet. And I think we should take Callisto and slap her on it. What happened to this thing? Oh, you need some repairs, buddy? Need some repairs? Not how you got that messed up. But it didn't cost much to fix it. <laughs> oh, but anyways, we've ru actually run a little long on this one. So thanks everybody for coming out and watching. Have a good one. And uh, be sure to hit that like. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Even if it's something silly. I don't care. It's engagement. And maybe even subscribe. We'll be playing more Star Sector. More Morrowind. Uh, for the foreseeable near future. But anyways, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one.